I had this at the Earth Day Fair the other day. See, there you go. You can watch the amps climb and drop, climb and drop as it gets into residence. So I guess I must have moved that coil a little bit. So you can move it forward. I'm moving it here. Normally that extra coil here on the end is not there and I can right down there I can push it in. There's a little tab there for you to push it. So you can see really charging up that battery. So that one's charging and that one's loading. So that's the way that's working. And some of these batteries are loading and some of them are charging. Okay, so now what we want to do is see if we can disconnect. See, there we go. Now we've disconnected the resistor and it's going faster. So we're drawing less amps. You can see it went down. And so we've bypassed. So the switch is closed right now. We're going to open that switch as soon as we turn on this relay. So let's go ahead now and connect this relay, which is this green wire here. And I think I'll connect it to this battery right here. That's the load battery powering the... Now normally I'm not going to be running a... Um, a uh, relay, but I just had that assembled that way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this off. And you can see by the light, the duty cycle, so it's not off for very long. So with a big wheel, you could do this a lot longer because there's a lot of mass stored up in the flywheel. Um, okay, so I'm going to turn this switch here off. So that opens it. So now you can see it's going to come down, but it's going to draw a whole lot less because there's a lot more off time. So now the primary battery which is 1242, gets some charge back into the system, some more off time, at least off in the sense of the load. Okay, so now we have a little bit better duty cycle for this. You can hear the click on and off, the relay. And of course, we're going to change all these settings here, ideally, but you can see the amp meter bouncing back and forth there, and it being, it being turned on and off. The other voltages, meaning relatively constant. So again, we can change by pressing these buttons, we'll change these batteries around over here. Click. So now this one, these two will change. This one actually will start powering the, the bulb. And this one will receive charge, but it still is connected to the relay. It's a the timer in the relay, so it's taking up more energy than I would like because of that big relay in there. Um, but the other ones we want to look at here, so that battery there is under uh, load but under a little bit of charge. Now I had to start it up there and uh, take a bunch of energy to, to get it up to RPM so it's going to have to stabilize for a few minutes. But this battery again is charging and we could turn them around and swap them with these two buttons, as I said before uh, in the last video. But again, the idea, what I want to get to you is switch one. In, in the Bedini systems, switch one was the uh, important switch going into the primary battery. So, um, 
this is like switch one, which is across the positive wire of uh, the primary wire, allowing some back feeding into the primary. Um, so this is pulsing, oh, actually on the negative side, um, back into the battery. The primary battery, and there is the negative wire from, see, you can hear that, that cap was charged up. 250 volts is its maximum. But see now this coil right here, which is kind of falling down a little bit, with that coil can receive uh, actually charge something up besides that cap and hopefully dump it across. Now we could find another voltmeter here somewhere. Maybe. I guess not. So let's take off one of these voltmeters. So this one's 1296. It's not going anywhere any fast. And we want to look across this cap here. What is the voltage? So that is the positive side and that's the negative side. So you can see that cap is 13. 19 volts above the primary voltage, which is you know 1240. There, so let's put this back where we had it and um, continue measuring the voltage. So, if this primary battery is 1240 and this cap is 13 plus 132, the SCR will fire it down to the battery voltage. Um, through the diode repeatedly and keep it under a constant charge. You know, that's only uh, five microfarads, so it's not very much, but it's, it's very rapid if you look on an oscilloscope, which I can show at another time. So, um, so that's the idea, is that we keep the primary battery as charged as possible and really charge the secondary battery. So again, increasing the efficiency of the system by turning it off while allowing the generator coils to still function is a savings. Um, every, what do we calculate, Tom? Every second of rotation, 4,000 RPM, is how many times? 80 or 60 times, 80 times a second? There's eight pulses or something like that. Anyway, um, so if we turn this off for one second, um, that's a lot of energy being saved from the primary battery. And if we continue to pulse it back in, we may be able to keep it going. Uh, if we had the right coil arrangements here. So that is just our musings for today. And we have more things where we can add to this. More features to add and, and to play around with. As you can see, the... Um, the options are endless here. We can do a lot of different things. We can still load this down a little bit more, or I can change the duty cycle a little bit. So thank you for watching my videos.